Hey guys, it's PC Purse. That was a weird purr, but whatever. And I'm back with some more Jocelyn's Cabaret. A little different this week. Um, we're combining episodes four and five, so we're gonna go through episode four kind of quick. And so episode four starts uh, with Yummy P and Wet Wet Spite. <sighs> Wet Wet is in the back. They dragged her off. Yummy's here with no wig. And the choreographer shows up and he's like, what is going on? Y'all doing a lot and we just got here. Y'all focus needs to be on dancing, not all the fighting. Most of the girls seem to feel that way. This lady here, very calm and peaceful. I don't know if it's going to work for her, <laughs> this show, but we'll see. Um, and then at, after he gives them the advice, he dips on them. Like, I don't have time for this. Um, and then... T Love, you don't see her right here. She got the short blonde hair. Starts going at Voodoo Andrea, who's hiding in the cut right here, about how she plays both sides and she don't like that. She feels like she's stirring up trouble. Maybe she is, but T Love has a lot to say. Y'all gotta let me know how you feel about her because sometimes I'm like, you're doing a little bit too much, but you gotta have somebody to stir up the drama on these shows. So I'm not too mad at her right now. So after that, all the girls get together. They take a little bus ride down to the studios to go rehearse. And when they get there, the choreographer is like, these girls got more personality than they have experience. So he's got his, his work cut out for him. So he teaches them the routine. We see some people are picking it up better than others. Wet Wet still, she must not have taken no dance classes in her time off because she's still kind of lost in the sauce, very lost in the sauce. And she's just there with no top on dancing, I guess, so she gets a moment. But it's like, not everything is about them, them top ties. You could put them away right now. This is rehearsal. So, um, yeah. And then Jocelyn comes. Wherever this studio is, it's got a lot of steps. So everybody's complaining that they had to climb all these steps. It's like a pre-workout right there. Even Jocelyn's mad about it. And she shows up bullying them like, why you not smiling? Why you not smiling? You can get out if you're not smiling. How you bully somebody for not smiling? That's a lot. That's a lot. But so she's there to pick who's going to dance with her in Miami. So I pretty much already knew who she was going to pick, but she had a couple in there I wasn't expecting. But I think that's also because we don't really know all the girls just yet, all their personality. Like some people get more camera time than others. Then Jocelyn starts coming at Yummy kind of sideways. Like she got on her about the wig that she had on, told her she looked like a roach, which I really don't. I really don't like that. That's not a good analogy. Don't call somebody a roach. Like those are definitely like, those are not cool words. <laughs> and then she starts telling her that she's not acting like the same person. And basically, Yummy is just saying that she feels attacked. But really be calling people roaches? And then she shows up in this Erica Badu hat. So when Jocelyn goes through all the girls, she makes them go in groups and then she picks who she's gonna get. And she chooses Miss Natural, of course, Wet Wet, of course, and then she chooses Voodoo, Andrea, and then she has another round and she picks Danny. Then she tells the girls that they're gonna have to pick who gets out the house because it's not enough space and she's not gonna do it. She keeps saying things like that beneath her. And they wind up kicking out Blow Up Doll, this one right here, Pretty Baby, I don't remember which one that is, maybe that one, and Big Mama, that's the one that had on the pink. I think that's the their BBW girl that had the blonde hair who got kicked out earlier with Wet Wet because they were talking too much. Mm, we didn't really see too much of them anyway, but I do feel like, I don't know how safe it was for Blow Up Doll to be trying to do all that dancing. I think I said that in another one, like maybe she just needs to walk around and be cute because uh, it's a lot to be shifting around and trying to throw around. Uh, yeah, so I think they probably made some good decisions, but the group, wanted wet wet to go because of course she can't keep up with anything but jocelyn decided to keep her and i guess she made an executive decision i think she kept um i forgot who she i think she got rid of this one instead of wet wet and i'm like i guess wet wet is a fan favorite for what she was doing in between because there's no way there's no way there's no way real quick i just want to talk about the moment that abby won my heart over when she showed up in this cat ensemble sis got the ears she's got the tank top with the cats and the straps in the end i said hold on self i'm gonna need this little outfit i, I very much so am liking this this one i said you know what abby you might not be able to dance but you're very sweet and you got the cute cat outfit we can keep you around for another week 
But I do feel like every time they show her dancing, it's not the best. She's very much not having rhythm. And I really like Abby. I feel like she has a nice personality. She's sweet, but she's not the best dancer. Every time we see her picking up choreography, she's not looking too good with it. Maybe she'll be able to pick it up, I don't know. But I feel like at this point, they're keeping her around because she's a trans woman and not necessarily because she's bringing like dance ability to the table. And I don't know really how I feel about that. What do you think? In the very end, Lucky shows up with the cute braids and she's like, take me back, take me back, take me back, even though Jocelyn still doesn't mess with her. And Jocelyn says the girls can choose whether or not she can come back. So she pleads her case and the girls are like, yeah, it's sisterhood. And they give a hug and they welcome her back. But I don't know how well it's going to go. And it's, we'll see how it goes in the next episode, episode five. But yeah, I don't know if Lucky should still really be begging to come back. She came with gifts and stuff, but Jocelyn really wasn't impressed by it. And you know Jocelyn's mouth is kind of reckless, so we're going to see how long Lucky is back for. I like Lucky. She can dance. I enjoy her, but hopefully she won't be kissing up to her like Raven and Wet Diamond were. All right, episode five. This episode starts with Jocelyn and Ballistic having one of their every episode come together let's recap what happened in the last episode and even he calls her out about this hat he's like what's up with the Erica Badu hat and I was like see I'm not the only one that thought that but then she starts telling him about Abby and about how she's trans and you could just tell Ballistic really doesn't know much about trans people because he asked where she got I guess she's well we know she's had um surgery and so he asked if she got her vagina from a dead person. <sighs> I'm like, wow, this man really does not know <laughs> much about this subject at all. Anybody else thought that was crazy? I thought that was crazy. I was like, what? He can't possibly think that. He cannot possibly think that. So then Miss Natural, Lucky, Daisy and Abby are sitting around just chatting it up and they talk about Lucky being back and one thing that was kind of interesting about this was Lucky saying that uh Daisy stood up for her we already know Daisy is kind of shady so the fact that she was sticking up for Lucky is kind of interesting because she's not the one that I would think to go to bat for people so let's see if that's something she keeps up this season or if she's gonna be playing mean girl like she did in her season another thing notable about this scene Jocelyn's show is not one for unifying people, but I will say, Abby was talking about in this scene how welcoming and nice everyone has been to her in the house. And the house is predominantly women of color. So I feel like there's been a lot of tensions, especially recently, like with Jess Larry's and all that other stuff about like trans women and um, like black women, like not getting along. So to see this, I thought this was pretty refreshing. Like. We need to see more people getting along. Then there's this little scene right here where we find out some of the cast members used to date. And so the ones that used to date are Precious and we saw her before um, Holiday. Sometimes she has the blonde hair and the confessionals, the long blonde hair. A lot of people got blonde hair this season. That, and then also I think this one is Spin was coming at Andrea again, basically saying she kind of brags too much. It's just like, She's getting on people's nerves. So it just seems to be a recurrent thing. She's the one in the house that annoys pretty much everybody. <laughs> then we have some spiciness because no lie in this one, Tila was doing a lot in this uh, in this little scene. She started coming at wet wet about her hair, her dancing ability, her skin, her look, her body, everything. <laughs> coming at her about everything. And she was also coming at, um, this is her. See, she don't have the blonde hair this time at um, Holiday and saying how basically she thinks she's a liar because she's always saying that she knows people and she's basically like, mm, I don't know about that. I'm a real one, I don't know about you. And then we find out, and then she talks about how she was dating um, Precious, but then we find out, this one, I forgot her name right now, might have something, you know, a little crush 
on Precious, but also on Miss Natural. Everybody likes Miss Natural. I can see why though. Miss Natural is very beautiful. And after that, we can see that she has a little something going on with Miss Natural because she has a seat in a chair and all the girls basically take turns giving her a lap dance, which I thought was pretty fun. And for once, all the girls were having a good time. So that was nice. And then after that, they show up for rehearsal. And the girls look a lot better. Like they're doing a much better job. Wet Wet kept her top on this time. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it was nice to see it. Now, I want to know what they really supposed to be performing in because some people are barefoot, some people got on slippers, some people got on sneakers, and some people got on house shoes. So, I mean, nobody has on heels, which whenever I see Jocelyn and her performance, I feel like a lot of times they have on heels or sneakers, but y'all should be rehearsing either in sneakers right now or them heels so you can get a feel for it. I would say these slippers are unacceptable but it's wet wet I mean, you know she's not the dancer so what do you expect at least she got on the top this time and tell me why jocelyn shows up in this white fur coat and immediately starts smelling the apartment and then she goes to the refrigerator and starts raiding the refrigerator i'm like mm, jocelyn got the munchies or something like why are you just going through their stomach everybody's just like enabling her that part was kind of funny but i'm like you already know she's gonna walk in there and start something that white coat, I'm like, she already showed up extra. Here we go. She was like, um, what's his name? Ghostface Killer with the fur coat. <laughs> Funniest part, that little. Finally, we get a yes, that was good. Watch it, watch it, watch it. See? So Jocelyn goes through the people going through the performance. She focuses on the people that are going with her to Miami. And basically everybody feels like Andrea needs to step it up a little bit, like she's falling behind. I think she'll be able to pick it up. And then Wet Wet and uh, T-Love start going at it. And T-Love is trying to apologize to her. And she says that everything was okay when they spoke in private. But then when production came, then Wet Wet is trying to get loud. We already know. I mean, that's not unexpected to me. But then they get into a fight. It gets pretty crazy, of course. And then we see that Egypt, that's the girl's name I can't remember. Egypt and Daisy get into a fight. Daisy ripped off her wig, but when we see Daisy, her face is bloody. So more fights to come. Uh, we keep seeing the same routine. I'm not gonna do the routine today because like I, t I think I told y'all I pulled my hamstring or something like that. So I've got to take it easy on my leg right now. So yeah, guys, sorry. We're not gonna have a tutorial this week. I have to rest my body a little bit because I'm a little injured, but next week, probably will do Jocelyn's dance to what they uh yeah guys so sorry there's no routine this week I need to rest my body a little bit so yeah but next week hopefully we will do Jocelyn's routine what we've seen of it so far and um, I want to give a shout out to Philip. thank you for all your suggestions I'm getting to them I promise you thank you for being such a good supporter and um someone asked me about tipping me recently so yeah, I guess I need to post some, some information for that. I'll do that. And yeah, I will see you guys next week. And let me know what you're thinking about this show so far. I'm glad we're seeing some dancing, but we've done this done cha cha dance a lot. And I feel like they should have picked that up already. We should be doing something else. So let me know what you think. Definitely something on the poll. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys for the next one.